Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. Greetings from COVID. Uh, great video last week. Here's the literal opposite of it. Do you know anything about me? It's that I am America's leading uh, COVID-stricken cars versus influencer slash analyst. This car, oh, now see, that would be a massive issue for me because one of my biggest fears is getting unexpectedly drenched in raw sewage, and that looked like it maybe had sewage in the back of it. There we have a... Uh, what I think is, is known in the cars versus world as a, as a proper issue. Now there is the smartest car in the squid. The one, what did I just <laughs> I, I think I was going for a squad, but I like squid better. Sometimes you write a line, like the most famous example in my own life is fell asleep the way you fall in love, fall, fell in love the way you fall asleep slowly than all at once. And you're right. When I wrote that line, I remember being like, that's pretty good. And it is. I still, I still like it. Okay. But it's not nearly as good as the smartest car in the squid. That's, that's proper genius. You know, I think I would drive around the giant bulge. I don't understand the urge to conquer the giant bulge. It feels like toxic masculinity to me, but I would, I would survive that. I would be very freaked out afterwards. Um, I would probably call my therapist and be like, you'll never guess what was in the road. It was a giant bulge. This one, I don't like. No, that's a no. This is a big problem for me because I do not enjoy a spinny ride. I don't like the teacups at Disney World and I do not like my car flipping over in multiple directions like dozens of times and then landing on its... But you know what? It's like I always say, if it rides, I lie, live live. I'm working on a pun. Okay, um, I got a little foggy brain. This one, again, I think that's, I think that's gonna be a real issue for me. I think, I think I've got myself a, I think I've got myself a proper problem. Although, if it rides our lives, I wonder what I would have to like be faced with in order to indulge in a real life version of Cars versus Giant Ramp. This is of course um, not gonna be the kind of thing that one emerges from. Uh, like I guess if like somebody was like, hey, you gotta do Cars versus Giant Ramp or we're gonna exterminate the human race, I would be like, oh, finally, it's my deep impact moment. It's my chance to, and I'll be the hero that second grade me wanted to be. But, problem is that adult me is pretty cowardly so I might try to get like somebody to volunteer as tribute for being realistic I might be like don't don't we need don't we need young adult novelists in the glorious dystopian future that awaits us on the other side of this great sacrifice <laughs> I love the idea of going to a cocktail party and like meeting somebody and saying like hey what do you uh what do you do for a job and they'll be like uh, oh I I make TikToks uh, simulating trains versus giant pit outcomes. And I'd be like, oh, that's, that's cool of you. Have you learned anything? And they'd be like, yeah. The big thing I've learned in my research so far is that it's actually, it's actually pretty bad for trains <laughs> to run into giant pits. I got a rainbow colored train. I wonder if changing the color changes the outcome. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that it might still be an issue for there to be a giant pit. And it is. <laughs> this is the most fun I've had in like at least three days.